counties of Gilead. Verse 27. Why did you flee away secretly and steal away my God and not tell me for might have sent you away with joy, songs, with triplets and harp, and you did not allow me to kiss my sons and my daughters. Now you have done foolishly in so doing. It is in my power to harm you, but the God of, my fa of your father told me last night, saying, be careful that you speak to Jacob, neither good nor bad. And now you have surely gone because you greatly long for your father's house, but why did you steal my gods? Then Jacob answered and said to Laban, because I was afraid, I said, perhaps you will take your daughters from me, uh, from me by force. With, whom, with whomever you find your gods, do not let him live. In the presence of our brethren, identify that what I have of yours and take it with you. For Jacob did not know that Rachel had stolen them. And Laban went into Jacob's tent, into Leah's tent, and into the maid's tent, but he did not find them. Then he went out of Leah's tent and entered into Rachel's tent. Now Rachel had taken the household idols, put them in a camel's saddle, and sat on them. And Laban searched all about the tent, but did not find them. And he said unto her father, Let it, be, let it not displease my Lord, that I cannot rise before you, for the manner of women is with me. And he searched, but did not find the house of God. And Jacob was hungry, and he booked Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my trespass? What is my sin that you have so hotly pursued me? Beloved, here the focus of this, of this second part of the message is Rachel, the second daughter of Laban, or the second wife of Jacob, whom Jacob loved. Just like Jacob, Rachel was a second fiddle in his father's house, but love promoted her from second fiddle to first fiddle, to first position. Love made Jacob to come from afar to seek the hand of Rachel in marriage. Just as the love of Jesus Christ came from afar, love made Jesus Christ to come from afar to seek us out as a bride. Love made Jacob to prefer Rachel to Leah. Just as love made Jesus to prefer us to several others. Just as love made Jesus to prefer you to several others. The book of Romans 5.8 says, But God demonstrates his love towards us while we were still sinners. Christ died for us. Ephesians 2, 8 to 9 says, For it is by grace that you and I have been saved, not by works, lest no man boast. Love made Jacob to patiently wait for Rachel for 14 years. The first seven years he served was given to another woman, not a woman of her love, but he waited patiently for another seven years. For 14 years, love made Jacob to wait patiently for Rachel. Likewise, love the love of Christ for us that we should not perish is making Christ to wait patiently for you and I to come to repentance. Just as Jesus patiently waited several years for us, Jacob patiently waited for Rachel. 2 Peter 3, 9 says, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as many or some understood slow, slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. So you see the relationship or the correlation between the love of Jacob to Rachel and the love of Jesus to us. Who is Rachel? Rachel to me is symbolic of someone who is beloved. Rachel is symbolic of someone who is redeemed or redeemable by precious sacrifice. As Jacob labored to redeem Rachel, Jesus labored to, re labored to redeem us. At the same time, R Rachel is someone who even though who, who wants the love, who wants to go to a father's house, but who is not ready the, to pay the price needed to go to the father's house. When you study the life of Rachel very well, when Jacob called Rachel and Leah and said, oh, for these reasons we have to leave your father's house to another place, Rachel agreed immediately that he wanted to follow Jacob. But while he decided to follow Jacob, instead of living in a clean way, he could not live without the household god of Laban. Rachel is symbolic of Christians, even though they want to make heaven. They have had the message of salvation. Unfortunately, they cannot pay the price needed to cut off from the past and enter into a new vision. Rachel is symbolic of Christians who are beloved, but they are reckless with the love of the Father. That is Rachel. 
Rachel represent those Christians, even though they come to church, they still go to Abalis to see the gods of Laban. Rachel represent those Christians, who, even though they put Jesus safe calendar, but behind Jesus safe calendar, they have talisman, they have juju, they have Abalis. Rachel is symbolic of Christians who will come to church on Monday, who will come to church on Sunday, pray to God, but on Monday to Friday, they are doing something else. Rachel is symbolic of those Christians who belong to secret court, even though they are Christians, even though they, they recognize themselves as children of God, but they want to go to the house of their father. That is who Rachel is. So Rachel is symbolic of those Christians who are reckless with the love of their father. Rachel is symbolic of Christians who confess their love for God only with their mouth, but their heart is far from the Lord. Rachel recognizes the God of Jacob, but could not pay the price needed to follow the God of Jacob. Rachel is symbolic of those Christians who love the things of Canaan, who would like to go to the promised land, but who lack the discipline needed to get to the promised land. Rachel is symbolic of Christians that are called CINO, Christians in names only. They like to be identified as Christians, but they are not ready to pay the price of Christianity. Rachel is symbolic of a situation that happened many years ago in Chicago. When during a church service one day, FBI came into the church, they went straight to the pulpit and put cocaine out of the pulpit. People gathering to praise God, to worship God but they had cocaine out of the, on the pulpit in the Sunday service. Rachel is symbolic of Christians who have hidden things in their heart. Their heart is so dirty, yet they sing the song of Christianity. Rachel is the kind of Christian Jesus was talking about when he said that the Pharisees and Sadducees, when he said that they were like, they, they, they were, they were like coughing, even though the outside is beautiful, but the inside consists of rotting dead body. They are like tombs who is, who is beautified outside, that is beautified outside, but the inside is dirty. That is racial. If you are a Christian, you are reckless with the love of the Father. Of course, you are aware there is heaven, but you are not willing to pay the price to get to heaven. You are aware that Christ is coming back again, but you live your life recklessly. You are racial. In summary, racial is a reckless Christian. But the good news is, as reckless, as careless as you and I might have been, God still loves you. The Bible says, Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever, it does not matter how dirty or how righteous. Whosoever, that is one of the anchor scriptures I love most. If you bow your heads and pray to God, repent today, He will save you. Beloved, as I suspend this message to continue next time, let us bow down our heads. I want you to pray. I want you to tell the Lord, Ask God to show you mercy. Tell him how much you love him. Ask him for his help. Tell him to help you, to give you grace, the power to overcome sin, the discipline to overcome sin. Ask him to help you, those things that you are struggling with, that he will give you victory over them. Ask him to help you, to give you the power to break loose from all those pollutions and contaminations that compete with the love of the Father in your heart. Thank him for saving you. Thank him for helping you. Thank him because he has the power to save and to deliver. Ask him to save and to deliver you. Father, we thank you because you are God. We bless and worship your holy name. We ask, O oh Lord, for the forgiveness of our sins, that come what may, we shall make heaven, that you will help us to see ourselves, that you will save us in totality. The Bible says that wherefore you are able to save all those who come to God through you, seeing that you ever live it to make intercession for us. Thou great intercessor, I pray that you will intercede for everyone listening to my voice right now, and you will count us what you are favor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. <laughs>